Okay, this is a reading for the collective. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, and commenting uh, about your situation, commenting about your situation below. Um, let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the collective with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so this reading is about somebody's got infertility issues. Now, that could be in terms of you know, procreation, they don't, they can't, you know, get pregnant or they can't stay pregnant or someone can't get someone pregnant, you know, all of the above. And then this card also comes out for when people just are not able to grow anything like there, there's no growth. There's no, um, they're barren. They don't have anything to give. It's like barren land with him, with this person, with these people here. So that could be coming up in terms of you dealing with a particular person. You keep trying to have growth with them, but there is no growth here because th there's this infertile ground. It's, um, dead soil. It's, um, it's not able to be cultivated. There's no growth with this person. And then of course it could just be that somebody is infertile. We also have, I made you fall in love with me because it was fun. Sorry. So we got somebody who plays games. Some, this could even be like a, a born narcissist, a person who just, um, all they know is manipulation, games, lies, deceit. It's who they are. It's at the core of them. They will never change. Um, the only time when they show a bit of, you know, um, generosity or genuineness is be, is when they are being manipulated, when the game is then on them, you know, and uh, that's also manipulation, too, because it's not real. If you were really genuine, if you were really generous, if you were really loving and giving, you would have shown up that way, you know, initially. But this person can only show those uh characteristics after they know that they are being toyed with that they are being played or there's deception with them so or being acted out on them so this person just all they know how to do is play games there's like a level of immaturity um with this person they just there's no growth within their mental space their psyche and their emotions um they try to reason like they are adults, but it it doesn't it doesn't even make sense for them to do so because it's something that they don't possess and they'll always take the relationship or the conversation back to a playful place, a fun place because that's all they know how to do, okay? It just maturity doesn't live with them, okay? Maturity lives down the street from them and they never visit. So um, we also have this reading is going to be about somebody is in need of new friends, like real friends. You could be around the fake. I heard the fake. You know, they're just. They're absolutely fake. They do, do not. Uh, they do not mean you any good. Um, they don't care that you're doing well. They don't like it. They're, they, it's a lot of falsehood with them. If they can have your life, if they can be you, if they can dress like you, if they can act like you, if they can sing like you, if they can dance like you, if they can read cards like you, if they can do this, they would take it if they have the opportunity to switch. You know, they would. Um, you also need to be around new and real friends because something is blossoming within you something new is happening with you your spirituality your insight your intuition so you need to be around people who are open to that um who could help you cultivate that foster that you need to be around new real friends um the people that you have dealt with or are dealing with they do not mean you any good okay they don't care for the good things that are happening to you for you with you around you um they want it to be happening to them. So there's a great deal of jealousy. And at the bottom of the deck, some of them could just be jealous because you're about to get a whole lot of money, okay? Or you have a whole lot of money or you making a whole lot of money or they perceive that you are making a lot of money or that you have a lot of money. Maybe just by the, the moves that you make, maybe you're just really good at um, 
holding down your financial situation here. So it's like um, they feel like, um, again, they want your life or they want your opportunity. They want what you have. They want um, before I misspeak, I want to make sure it's right. It's like they want to be able to do what you do for a living. I don't know if you like do independent work, something of that nature, but this person wants to, or these people, your friends, they want to do it too. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, give me a card for in infertility issues, infertility issues. This could be you. This could be someone else. This could be to my, okay, that card flipped out. They just don't, they can't grow anything. Understanding. So it's like, maybe you need to come to an understanding that there is no growth. There's no fertility. There's no luck. There's no prosperity with a particular person, place, or thing. Okay. Once you come to that understanding, then maybe you can make some moves. Maybe you're in a place of confusion or you're hoping and wishing that, you know, this changes or the dynamic changes. Like maybe they'll get it or maybe they'll grow up. Yeah. You feel like maybe it's unfair. Okay. Or you feel like they have been unfair with you or maybe this person feels this way about you, but somebody feels like something is unfair. If you suffer from infertility um, issues, maybe you feel like someone else who can fall pregnant, stay pregnant. You feel like it is unfair. It's unfair. See, somebody also could be jealous of you because you are fertile. Not only are you fertile in terms of, once again, procreation, but everything that you touch turns to gold. There's growth. There's prosperity. They just feel like it's unfair. They feel like they got the short end of the stick in terms of life, in terms of talent, goals. This person could be obsessed with you. Like they stare at your picture for hours. Maybe they want to be you. They want to do things like you. Um, this also could be somebody here you were in a relationship with, but there was no growth. There was no prosperity. There was no change. There was no leveling up. There was no ascension to the relationship. And it could be that um, now they're kind of obsessed with you, maybe, especially if you walked away. You got some understanding that with them, it is barren land. There is nothing there. Um, now they feel like that is unfair. And now they kind of have fell into obsession because firstly, they were in a place of just making you fall in love with them because it was fun. But now they're obsessed. What is I made you fall in love with me because it was fun? Platonic. Yeah, I was like. Um, maybe they thought that they were just going to keep you as a friends with benefits or just as a friend, but then they fell in love with you. You fell in love with them. Um, something of that nature here. It's like the, the role reversal here. Like they thought, okay, I just met this person. Nothing serious is going to come of this. Or if it does, I'll just get out of it because I'm in it for fun. Right. I made them fall in love with me for fun. And now they're in love with you or you leaving has now caused them to fall in love with you. They don't like that. You know, maybe you put them in a friend zone. This person could be obsessed with you. I love how you dress. You're a fashionista. It's like now somebody started with a, in, a, in a real immature way with you in a relationship. They started Going, they went into the relationship with no intentions, none set. Whatever happens, happens, right? And something did happen. Maybe they fell in love with you. They thought that they would make you fall in love with them, which maybe you did. But then you realized that it was infertile. Uh, so then you left. Uh, and now they're in a place of obsession. They don't like being put in a friend zone. And again, it's just like they're just thinking about all the things that they love about you. They love how you dress. They love how you walk. They love how you talk. They love what you do. Let's see, what is in need of new friends? This person that you you were dealing with, are dealing with, they could be in need of new friends. You could be in, new, in need of new friends because they're jealous of you, extremely jealous of you. What is in need of new friends? What is in need of new friends? 
um, legacy and not making any moves. Okay, so maybe somebody stays with the, this friend group because they've been with them for so for such a long time. They've known these people. They've grown up with these people. There is legacy there. There is history there. And they're not making any moves in terms of getting out of this friend group. And some of you, you try to stay loyal to a friend group because, again, you've known them for so long. Um, but these people are not making any moves. And you're making a lot of moves, okay? And you're out here. You're doing things. You're, you know, you're expanding. There's growth with you. These people will either try to take what you have or they'll try to pull you back down. So you got to keep that in mind in terms of staying with people who do not feed your soul, do not add value to you and you add value to them. It has to be mutual. It has to be an exchange happening, okay? It can't be that you add all the value and they don't give anything back because eventually it's gonna turn into resentment, regret, um, maybe even remorse there. So it's something about you need to make some moves. You need to get out of this friend group. You can't just be stuck. And maybe it's even be family too. You can't just be stuck in, well, they're my family or they're my friends. I've known them forever. If they're not doing anything, no one says you have to throw them completely away, but deal with them how you deal with them. If they're all about fun and there's a day you want to have fun, go have fun with them. But trying to bring them in onto your business, into your business, telling them about things that you're doing or you're trying to institute or bring into fruition, they don't need to be privy to that. They don't need knowledge of that. You need to shut that down. And you just need to put people in boxes. All right, so let's see what we got going on here for inf infertility issues. And now somebody being obsessed. Uh, okay, we got reshuffle, please. All right, so we go reshuffle, let's see infertility issues pull two more cards stable and hardworking oh, so somebody is now wanting to be dedicated committed to you but they're not making any move towards you maybe they're trying to get themselves you know together pull two more cards yeah it's like they're trying to get themselves together it's like they maybe they're trying to get guidance They're trying to get under some type of rule, regimen, agenda, schedule. What is this about? Yeah, it's like they're trying to be more healthy, more uh, upbeat, more positive. Uh, this person could feel like you're the one. It's like they want to change something about themselves before they come back to you, before they ask for a second chance, before they ask for your forgiveness. Anyway, so I made you fall in love with me because it was fun. Sorry. All right. So now this person is in a place where now they stuck on you. They stuck on stupid. Uh, let's see. It could be that now they see the value in your relationship that maybe you you uplift them. They're, they see the beauty of you, of the relationship, of the connection. This person felt like they were on the right path with you or the right trajectory with you. Now they feel all discombobulated and they don't like the fact that you put them in a friend zone. They don't like the fact that you get a lot of attention. They don't like the fact that uh, people look up to you or they look up to your gifts or what you offer or you have something to offer. This person could be looking at your platform or whatever it is you do or however you do it or however you put it out to the world. This person wants you to forgive, you know, they want you to act with compassion and allow them to come back. They want reconciliation. Let's see what else. It could be. Maybe they want to take the lead now. They want to delegate. They want to be the boss. This person was acting purely on passion. And they were in like that fun, fun, loving, passionate phase in their life. Maybe when they met you and again, they didn't have any intentions for the relationship. So they got into it thinking, oh, it'll just be fun to make this person fall in love. You know, they have a saying, the sex is better when you're in love. So maybe they made you fall in love because they knew that the sex would be better. 
people play all types of mentals and manipulation games, okay? So maybe this is what this person did, but they were not expecting to see how brilliant, how radiant, how uplifting you are or were. And now they're in a place of feeling lack. Uh, they want to take action. They're desiring you. They want you back. Um, they could be stuck at home or they're tied to their home now. Um, not wanting to get out as much. Let's see what's going on here um, in terms of in need of new and real friends. This could be, again, what your person or the person that you're coming to the reading for. This is what they need to do. They need to get some new real friends or this is you. Um, and you can't rest on the energy of I've known this person or these people forever, especially if they're not making any moves, they're not doing anything. What do we have for in need of new real friends? Um, spy questioning and inquisitive. Yeah, you need new friends because they you're the subject of gossip. They talk about you. OK, um, they spy on you. They ask questions just to inquire, not to help, not to gain knowledge um, about how they could be a part of it or how they can help you or how they can help themselves. It's just more to gain knowledge about what you're doing so that they can use it or use it against you or do it before you or they're questioning you. Also, again, you're the subject of gossip. They also try not to tell you what they're doing, but they want to know everything that you're doing. They could also be getting information from you and running it back to people that you don't like, that you don't care for. And talking about you with these people, these people like to be involved in salacious gossip, gossip and scandal. And they just like drama again, not making any moves in their life. Um, this is either what you're surrounded by and you need to get out of, or this is what your person is surrounded by and what they need to get out of. Let's see. What else do we have here? Um, yeah, jump. Okay, so we got, you need to let something new develop in your life. New friendships, new friend groups. You need to put yourself out there, okay? You just need to uh, take that leap of faith in a new direction. It's like you need to jump out of this. It's like um, you also need to deal with these people in a new way. Giving them your business and telling them what's going on with you. No, you need to put people in boxes. You need to jump out of this. There's an energy of this. Again, this person just wants to know what you're doing, how you're doing it. They want to use it against you. They talk about you. They talk. Maybe they even try to talk down on your plans. Keep that in mind. You don't need anybody talking down on something that you're trying to bring about. What else do the cards have to say for the collective here? Some of you got some a whole lot of money coming to you, okay? And people know about it. And they want to know what you're going to do with it. Or they want to be around for when it, it actually reaches you. All right, so the cards are saying, do you communicate your feelings and your thoughts freely, your throat chakra? Maybe something is blocked here. You need to speak. You need to say what it is you need to say to a particular person. You've got not today come with something new and something better. There's somebody here again wanting reconciliation. Maybe you haven't said it all that you need to say to this person or this is how they feel about you. Um, I can't wait for you to change. I'm leaving. Maybe you left already. Um, or you're leaving, you could be saying to somebody, you think that you're so mature, but you aren't, or this is what they're saying to you. Again, we talked about this high level of immaturity between you and someone else, or um, that this person just, you know, maturity, prosperity, it doesn't rest with them. Yeah. Someone's saying, I'm bad for you. I'm bad for you. And I know it in hell, you know it too. So it's like, maybe they already know. They know that you guys are on two opposite ends of the spectrum and you know it too, but you still want to stay, you know, there. You still want to hold out hope. We talked about that. Addicted to sex with anyone. Yeah, this person is just all over the place. They don't care. They do anything. Yep. Again, compulsion and addiction are symptoms of a problem, not the problem. The sacral chakra, something's going on with this person's sacral chakra here. Um, 
they express themselves through sexual activity, uh, lower vibration, lower IQ, lower mental. Uh, they like to, di you know, to be in that lower vibration with lower people. They don't have to, you know, rise up and be better. You could be saying, or the other person said, I just, I just don't know what to say about us. You know, you're at a loss here. Um, yeah, but this person is, this is why they want you to absolve them. All, all the shit that they've done, forgive them. Please don't leave me. You're the only person who puts up with me. So this person knows that they are a problem. Keep in mind that you do have answer prayers coming to you. Whatever you pray for is coming. Selfishness is what is resting in this reading for somebody either. I don't know what side you're on. I hope you're on a good side. Um, somebody is extremely selfish. Somebody is full of drama and fear, root chakra. And that could be those friends, in that friend group. They're full of drama and they're full of fear. They don't know how to act on anything. They're fearful of new, of uh, taking leaps of faith, of stepping out there, of putting themselves out there. It's easy to, you know, be in drama, create drama, create chaos. Um, architects of chaos is like they just, you know, that's it's easy for them. Something's up with their root chakra. They need to do some root chakra healing. These people or this person could be stalking your social media. They just want to know what you're doing. They want to know what you're doing, how you're posting it, where you're going, all of this. Um, you you are their obsession is what I just heard. All right, so a lot of cards fell onto the floor. Uh, a lot of people want to know, you know, when I do private readings, does this person love me? Do they really love me? Yes, I do love you, but my love is toxic. Good luck with that. Remorse, what is that? This person really doesn't, they don't possess this, okay? It's like what we talked about earlier. This person is just deceptive, you know, in nature. This is their true nature. They could ask you, can I come over? You know, there's somebody who lies all the time, especially to women. Um, yeah. They're saying, I'm not taking responsibility for you being hurt. This person is, at it, you know, you can call them an asshole. You can call them a narcissist. You can call them a this. You can call them a that. You can call them a demoniac, whatever. But this person is trying to show you who they truly are. This is their true nature. Wow. As I say that, look what card comes out. Religious differences separate us. Because somebody is this good and somebody is bad. And we even had that card that came out and the person was professing to you, hell, you know, I'm bad for you. It's like you religiously, uh, spiritually, um, foundationally, morally, all those things, you guys don't gel. But it's like you opposites attract for whatever reason. It's like you really want to hold on to this. Wow. I'm bad and you and um, I'm bad and you're good. Only one of us will win in the end. This person even know they they might even want to drag you down to the dark side or drag you down to um, to bullshit. You know, just, yes, I do hardcore drugs and I have no plan to stop. And this person is off and on and they're hot and cold because they are an agent of chaos. It's where they excel. It's where they thrive. There are six positive signs and six negative signs. Signs in terms of zodiac signs. It doesn't mean that the positive signs are just the super, super positive people and you, they'll never do anything wrong. It just means that they thrive in positivity. They create positivity. They need it to, to, to breathe, to live, to thrive, to grow, right? In the negative signs, um, it doesn't mean that they're super negative people and they're horrible people, but it just means that they can thrive in the most negative environments. And at times they can create the drama. They can create the negativity because this is where they thrive. This is what they feed off of. So keep that in mind, guys, in terms of whom, who you're dealing with. And you can always Google the six positive signs, six negative signs and see where you lie. Uh, and just know thyself so that you can uh, be better. Okay, be best. Um, your need for control causes problems in relationships, solar plexus. So this could be for you. It could be for somebody else. But somebody needs to control because nothing in their life is, you know, really in their control. Therefore, they feel like they can control at least love and relationship. They don't want everything in their life to be out of control. This is a person who's not even in control of themselves. 
their impulse because we had addiction and compulsion. Therefore, they feel like if they can control people, you know, it just gives them some sense of power because they feel powerless. Somebody saying, look, I'm making plans for our future together. Hmm. Um, I've never known love like this before. And will you just take me back already? Jeez. So, and we saw that with absolve. It's like, they want you to make a quick, fast decision about them. Take them back already. They're making plans for the future and they've never known love like this. Um, you know, that's going to be for some of you got to determine if you want to take this person back and for what reason and should you, you know, what are they offering? What are you offering? Is it mutually beneficial? Um, we have to have that because, um, that's how we survive when things are mutually beneficial. We can't just feed one side and feed one person because, um, then we'll be depleted, right? So make sure that you are engaging in things that are mutually beneficial. All right. So let's talk about what's going on here. Let's see what the love oracle has to say in terms of uh, this infertility. What do we have to say for this infertility? Somebody feels like it's unfair. Yeah, because now they love you. Unconditional love, self-love, passion, affection, attraction. So now they're in love with you. When they thought it was funny to make you fall in love with them, and then, and then they fell in love with you. Craziest thing. Um, not enough. So they're frustrated in a relationship. Lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego. We have that coming up. This also could go for the friends too. Like they feel like they're not enough. They don't have enough. Um, this infertility here, this person is not able to grow anything to cultivate, to um, maintain because they feel like they are not enough deep down inside. Therefore, they always feel like they need to be in control, you know, emotional manipulation, physical manipulation. They just always need to know that they have the upper hand. OK, the snake coming out, competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder, the other woman. Um this could be that there is some other woman who I also was getting there too. I kind of skipped over that. There could be somebody who's jealous of you because you have a child or you have children and they can't, again, I think we talked about it. They can't keep a pregnancy. They can't, um, they can't bring forth life. So they're a snake. They're in competition with you. I don't even know if you know that you're, that they're in competition with you here. Um, but they're definitely extremely jealous of you. What do we have for, Yeah. Um, I made you fall in love with me uh, because it was fun. We have platonic and I love the way you dress. We have abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss. And we did have answered prayers. Abundance is coming to you. Um, this person now sees that they see your um, your worth. The butterfly relationship evolving into the next phase. Healing the inner child growth. So it's like, I don't know if this person, if you... Because you meet, we all meet people for a certain reason, okay? If what you brought to this person was growth, was transformation, even if you don't end up with them, there's something that happened within meeting you that caused their spirit to be awakened to goodness, to a good person, to someone with a good heart, because they're full of manipulation, games, and drama. And now meeting you is like, wow. You know, uh, there are still good people in the world because all they were meeting were people like them. So what do we have for in need of new real friends? What do we have? OK, addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling has a block restraint. So this person, these people could want to hold you back. You, your person that you're coming to the reading for, they could deal with a friend group that just wants to hold them back, keep them lesser than never ascending never getting higher than them never going higher they want to keep them addicted we did have somebody doing hardcore drugs somebody needs to be around different people so that they can come out of that we have photograph looking at your photos missing you nostalgia new mo making new memories so this part again then we had the page of swords kind of come out that uh, inquisitive spying energy this person could be looking at you on some type of platform here um, or these people are, or, um, you could put up real nice photos and your friends, they might like the photo and sometimes they don't, you get vibes that somebody just doesn't like you, or there is an underlining, uh, level of tension or jealousy there. Yeah. Th th that maybe they're not as happy for you. They're not, 
um, they're not joyful. There is no expansion. You also need to, because we, I think we have the jump card. You need to expand your your uh, social circle, so you can find happiness and oneness, and you can enjoy each other. Because I think this group of people enjoy you and what you have to offer, but it might not be mutually beneficial. Let's see what else is happening here. Um, for you, let's see if we can try to pinpoint some uh, people. This infertility issues. Who is this? Who is this person? Somebody with high honor. I think you're recognizing the community for whatever it is they do. This is a facade. They don't really feel that, you know, they have lack of confidence. You know what I'm saying? Like, they know who they really are. And all of the handshakes and the accolades and the well-to-dos, you know, it feeds their ego on the outside, but they really feel less than on the inside because we had not enough come out. The family really like, yeah, they got some secrets here. This is somebody who wants a family or can't have a family or somebody that they're not able to have growth they don't have a family they feel so lonely so empty even though they get a yeah, message of concern this person is becoming kind of depressed this person wants to reach out to you this person continuously gets bad news about because this reduces to a five especially if this is a woman here she may get a lot of recognition from her circle, maybe even her immediate family, but she doesn't have one or she can't procreate. So there's a lot of resentment and jealousy. There's a lot of anger. She may always, she may have tried to get pregnant several times. It, was, it didn't pan out well for her with the message of concern. There's also somebody here who they really love you they have put you up on a pedestal they have secrets that they haven't told you you could have been a third party to a family dynamic they want to reach out to you they want to bring you back into this love affair they want to bring you back into this fight back into this drama what is i made you fall in love with me because it was fun who is this person the main female so it could have been a feminine energy Either the one that fell in love or this is, you know, the main female is making people fall in love with her because it is fun. Distant horizon. It's like now somebody is really waking up to spirituality. Yeah. Now, because there is distance between you and your person, this person is at a place of like understanding now. Um, They're getting it. They're wishing and hoping for you to come back. Yeah, they're in a place of a bad health. See, this person was trying to keep the relationship friends with benefits. And they fell in love. They saw that you were really a gift from the universe. Yeah, we talked about that. It's like they thought they could play with you, but they didn't know they were playing with that, that you had great value. You have great value. So you playing with something that has a lot of value, a lot of worth. This person was just so used to doing that that they couldn't even see. They don't they don't know how to place value. What is um in need of new real friends? What is in need? Okay. So there could be a masculine energy, main male. They need new friends. They're around lower vibrational people. They need to take the plunge, the leap into meeting new people growing up maturing yep they've been doing this for too long they need to let something new develop with the pathway here um it could even be that they need to grow up and um you know get married or take something to the next level what is this marriage card 
Yeah, they need to put an end to something. Something needs to be a no-go. I don't know if this person talks of you also may have somebody who talks about you in the marriage or they let friends or they let family talk about you, mature male. And then we have wealthy male fall over. Not a lot of men showing up here. We got a group of men who it's like failure to launch, fail, failure to grow up. It's like they just feel like they could just be kids forever. It's like somebody, yeah, it's, it's taking them to a place of despair. Um, there's also somebody who's, okay, so we got wealthy men, and then we got these two other men. Someone could be jealous because somebody has wealth, they have promise, they can do whatever in life. Let me look at this. Oh, okay. Somebody could be jealous of a feminine energy because she got a lot of different prospects. Like she got a lot of different men who she could uh, choose from. This person really blossomed. They really are doing something. This person could even be on their way to getting married. The friends or the friend group is in despair, jealous, dramatic about this because they know that maybe they're going to get cut off or the relationship is going to change. Something is going to be a no-go or they feel like they're never going to get married. There's somebody here who has got a lot of prospects, they, you know, definitely. Somebody here is awakening to how great they are to their fortune. And there's a group of people who just concerned. They're like super concerned. These are entities working with these people. They are super concerned about this person really waking up to who they really are. Their true um, nature, their life purpose, the reason why they're here, why they're on the earth. And they're afraid. If this person really wakes up to this, like they're going to be absolutely amazing. This person, they weren't whomever. You, this could be you. You weren't fed in, in early childhood. How dynamic you are, how great you are, how smart you are, how magnificent you are how beautiful you are inside and out you just weren't told that and it took for you to grow into adulthood and maybe had to even try to grow into that therefore you were living below your potential maybe even hanging with people who were below your potential or below the mark or you were always okay with being below the mark People in your life let you do that or the people who were responsible for raising you, rearing you, they just let you not live up to your potential. I don't know if it was purposely or maybe they didn't see it or they just didn't know how to cultivate it. They were too busy with themselves. This could be like those who grew up in single parent homes or those who just grew up with families who just were not in tune with their children. They were just more in tune with themselves and making money or whatever. It's like this is an energy of somebody being absolutely amazing, having something to really offer the the universe, the world, and, and not knowing it until later in life. You know, just because no one actually really pinpointed it for them, no one of significance. A man on the street, a stranger, a, a friend, a family friend could say, oh, you're you're going to be great when you grow up or you're going to be this or you are that. You take it into account 
But if you don't hear that from the people who are around you the most, the people you live with, you kind of live below your potential. You don't know where you belong. The first seven years of any child's life is significant, is dynamic. The first person to the child's brain really, you know, um, you can shape and mold them. That's why. I, anyway, I won't go into that, but um, it's like some of you just you weren't told that you were great. and But you are. You are like you have a lot of greatness with inside of you. You have something to offer, not just a relationship or one person you got something to offer the world and getting a late start but hell start yeah the will of fortune this talks about your psychic abilities being heightened and the psychic abilities around the people around you their psychic abilities may even be heightened again they speak into entities or entities are speaking to them about you because you're about to have a great change in your fortune you know big money coming to you you're going to have uh, new social circles here it's just like everything is going to change for you and these people are, may even try to hold you back yeah four of cups here they may try to put you in a depressive state um, they may say something to you that makes you go inward and start looking at yourself, be self-absorbed, or turn everything personal. The two of swords. Um, this also reads as if somebody's trying to change your mind. This could be an old love or a past love or a soulmate. They could be trying to change your mind. They want reconciliation. They want to come back to you. They want you to co cooperate with them. They want you to get on their agenda. It could be a masculine, the emperor with the eight of cups. Yeah, they want you to walk back towards them. Look, they have options, but they are completely bored with them. Dis, dissatisfied with their options here. Uh, they see your value and they want you to come back. Could be um, an Aquarius. Uh, we got the star card. Yeah, this person seeing your value. They see how uplifting, how great, how magnificent, how beautiful, how radiant, how smart. How loving, how caring you are. The Seven of Cups, they could even be fantasizing about you, thinking about you, wishful thinking, dreaming about you, dreaming about uh, being back with you, about reconciling, about reunion with you. You have the Queen of Cups, but it looks like somebody's closed down. I keep seeing this dynamic, though. The Emperor and the Queen of Cups. It's like there's an older male energy, right? Um, he's created something for himself, you know, whether it's a lot or it's a little. He has created something for himself, um, but it's all, I feel like it's like almost like a bullying energy. Now, you may not feel like you're being bullied either physically or maybe even emotionally, but it's like an energetic bullying. Like this person feels like they can kind of boss hog them, their way back into your life or back into your energy, or they also very stubborn. They feel like if they, um, if they think about you over and over again, if they um, look at your pictures, if they do like some type of spell work, you'll come back to them, but nothing is touching you because your emotions are closed down. Um, you don't want this for whatever reason. You're cultivating a, an air of emotional stability. You don't need anything destabilizing you right now. Um, you know that you're a gift to the universe, to the world. It says that the Queen of Cups, is a, she has something to offer the world. Um, multifaceted uh, personality layers to her uh, you see one side and then you'll see another side and then you'll see another side um, fixed energy Scorpio Aquarius um, Taurus uh, Leo um, it's spirituality too it's like she's studying spirituality that's why she doesn't have to have anything to give to other people She's studying her emotional uh, place too, her stance or how she deals with her own emotions. Therefore, I can't deal with my own emotions and learn my emotional self while, still, while giving you my emotions. So she's closed down. That's the only cup that's closed. It's got a cap on it. But this person is just like, they feel like they're coming for you. Like they don't care. Um, they want this. They want this terribly let's see what the soulmate deck has to say here what does the soulmate deck has to say what does the soulmate deck have to say 
You'll meet your soulmate when the time is right. Some of you are wondering when you will meet your person. According to Greek mythology, we were born with what created with four arms, four legs, two heads. Fear in our power, Zeus split the two in separate beings and condemning them to search for their other halves for the rest of their lives. Talks about twin flame or whatever. You could be in this twin flame journey here, but keep in mind that just because it is it is a twin flame journey, you don't have to stay in it. And the other person has to choose the journey. They can't, you can't just be the only person choosing it or that's, that's gonna be insanity. Uh, souls that belong together will always find their way back together. So it looks like there's a breakup or there has been a breakup or there will be one because some of you are moving onto a more reliable and steady path. And you, you, you start reclaiming who you truly are. This goes back to some of you not knowing who you truly are, what is really inside of you because it was never fostered or cultivated from the time you were young. Um, and it, it just lay dormant in you. And that could have been all by design too. But now you are, you're starting to reclaim who you really are. What else do we have here for the soulmate deck? You were living below, below, low, low. Dealing with low, low people too. Uh, wow, yeah. And where does the power come? It comes from within the dragon here. So there could be a feminine energy here who is reclaiming her power, reclaiming who she really is, understanding her power here. She has the power to uh, to nurture, to cultivate, uh, to protect um, her young, to um, edify, to build up, but she also has the power to destroy by way of her actions and words. So it's like you understanding your power here. Once again, back to that Queen of Cups, understanding your emotional space here. Um, really good. It's like, I don't know, maybe this like twin flame journey for some of you propelled you into spirituality. And sometimes that can do that, you know, um, because you start asking the questions of why can't I stop thinking about this person? Why do I, why am I rolling on the floor in tears about this person? You know, and then you find a tarot card reading. <laughs> And all of it resonates with you. Now you're down the rabbit hole. Um, let's see. What is the advice here? Relationship dynamics. Yeah, it's like the dynamic could have been two. You and your person. And then it changed. Maybe a third party entered. Uh, or you were the third party. It also talks about feeling differently about something now. You, you know, your emotions, your, your stance has changed. The dynamic has changed here. Therefore, there could be significant change. Like, I'm done. Yeah, as I say that, family change is coming out. Yeah, talks about divorce, separation. Something that it, it affects a group of people, a family. It doesn't just affect one person. This could even be somebody contemplating divorce or separation. We saw that with high honor and family room. I don't know, your person could be, or this person you're coming to the reading for could be, um, married and now they have to separate or they're thinking about separating or they want to make some change or they this could be you yeah retirement somebody wants to retire or something let it go um go to the next thing this also talks about a shift a change in your uh how you work how you do your work you could be going from full-time work to part-time work you could be preparing for retirement also again this just reads that somebody's trying to retire a relationship make some change here let's see yeah finances could be good could be bad courage it's like maybe finances are holding somebody back uh, from making a significant change here leaving wow leaving a toxic this card literally talks about leaving a toxic drama filled relationship and becoming maybe the single woman single man uh and waiting this is a feminine energy though so there could be a feminine energy um, who is, is leaving something toxic, drama filled, um, stagnant, stuck, karmic behind. Um, it's not adding anything again about a relationship, having the courage to do so. It may be even healed from the past. This could even be leaving a group of people behind too. 
with that in, in need of new and real friends, like retiring this group of people, maybe even family here. Your family could have held you back. We talked about them not pouring into you when you were younger. Yeah, the memories. Um, and you're getting heavenly signs that somebody is just full of shit. And again, this all could have propelled you to religion and spirituality. Some of you need to change your diet because it's affecting your intuition and your ability to hear from spirit. Keep the faith that things are changing around. Question everybody's motivation, even yours at times. Some of you are physically moving or the proverbial move away from. I moved away from drama, drama filled people. Mm -hmm. um, again, your emotions. You're really trying to um, learn how to process your emotions. Yep. Um, some of you could be learning how to process your emotions or use that power that you have within, especially if you're a feminine energy. Um, this could even be yoga, Tai Chi, learning how to uh, harness all that energy and use it. This could even be Reiki. This is like a wonderful reading uh, for the collective. Um, do know that somebody wants you back. There's a group of friends you need to let go or your person needs to let the friends grow. I mean, go. There was somebody who made you fall in love because it was fun. Now they're in love and now it's all crazy. It's all toxic. It's it's a mess. Rewind it. Listen to it again. Send it to somebody else. It is for the collective. If you feel like this reading resonated for you, go over to the website. Book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Ella Coffee link. Let the exchange happen. If this blessed you, bless me. Any donation is uh, much appreciated and will be well received. Um, catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night. Come learn the tarot with me. Um, I have classes linked below. Thank you. Many blessings to you.